guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Or if this is your first time being here, welcome. My name is Katie. I make all types of fashion, lifestyle, and beauty content, so I would love if you guys wanted to join the family and subscribe below. You can also find me on Instagram. I'm super active on there. I'm always posting lots of more behind the scenes stuff, outfits, stuff like that. Also my really cute dog. So feel free to follow me on Instagram as well. So if you guys enjoyed this video or if you use this preset, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you tried it and what you thought. And with that being said, let's just jump right into the video. Okay, so all of the apps that I do use are completely free, so you don't have to purchase any of these. Um, so the very first thing that I do after obviously I take the picture and all of that is I'm gonna go right into my Lightroom app. So here's just a quick before and after for you guys, you can kind of see um, everything that I do to it. I obviously brighten everything up a lot and really bring out the whites because I do like a very white, aesthetically pleasing um, feed. Okay, so the very first thing that I'd like to do when I'm editing my pictures is go down to the light. Um, and then what I typically do is I bump the exposure way up. Um, and so this one with the exposure, it really just depends on if it's taken outside in natural lighting, if it's taken inside in more of like a dark area. Um, so this one you kind of have to play around with. So with this one, I want it to be extra bright. So I'm honestly gonna bump this up probably to about 1.75. Um, and then after I do that, I'm gonna go down to the contrast. For the contrast, I'm probably gonna bump it up to about a, I'm gonna say like a 15. Um, and so what this really does, it just really makes any of like your dark colors pop. Um, so like the blacks, I don't want them to look like faded or anything like that. I want it to be like a nice crisp black. Um, so I bump that up to about 15 or 16. And then next thing I do is I go to the highlights and I like to bump that up probably to about 10. Um, I don't like to go super overboard. I'll show you guys if you go like way too much, it kind of almost like washes out your picture. So I don't like to put that up too high. I'll probably leave that at about 10. And then the next thing I do is shadows. Um, I typically don't do a whole lot with this. If you guys are someone that likes the more like washed out black look in your pictures, you can actually push that up. And as you guys can see, it makes it look like a little bit more like grungy. Um, but like I said, I don't like to have like washed out looking pictures at all. I want them to be super crisp. So I actually typically sometimes will bump that down about like two or three. And then the next thing that I do is I go to whites. Um, and so with the whites, this really just makes obviously any whites in your pictures really pop and stand out, which I want. Um, so I'll put that up to about 20. And then depending how my blacks are looking in the photos, um, I'll either, you know, like lighten it up a little bit or I'll bring it down. Um, so with this one in particular, I'm probably just gonna bring it down to about like negative five for my blacks. Um, just to make sure that the black is like nice and really crisp. Okay, so now that I've done all the lighting, here's like a quick little before and after. Um, so as you guys can see, like that's already taken care of. Most of the editing is really just in the lighting. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and go over to color. And then honestly, I don't do anything with all of this stuff down here, like the tint, the tint, the vibrant saturation. I don't honestly even touch that. Um, where the magic happens is right in this little mix button where you see that rainbow circle. So I'm gonna click on that. Um, Typically, I don't ever touch the red unless I'm wearing like lipstick or some there's like pink tones in the picture. Um, so that way, you know, if you have like a more like light nude lip, if you wanna make it a little bit darker, you can, or if you wanna bring the saturation the other way and make your like darker lip a little bit more nude, you can edit that there. Um, so really the main two that I focus on is gonna be the orange and the yellow. So with the orange, I like to bring the luminance back a little bit because this is what actually makes you look tan in pictures. Um, so if you see a lot of people on Instagram that look like really tan, <laughs> like unnaturally tan, this is how you do it. As you guys can see, it's already kind of like darkening my skin tone a lot. Um, so I'm probably gonna put that at about a negative 30. And then saturation, um, I'm gonna bump up just a little bit. I don't like my pictures to be too orangey or saturated, but I don't wanna look like a ghost. So I'm probably gonna bump that up Mm, we're gonna put this at about a 20. Um, and then hue, I don't really touch typically, um, but if you're someone that wants your pictures to look a little bit more like pink, you can do that. Or if you want it more on like the yellow side, you can do that as well. Um, but I typically just leave it at zero. Okay, the next thing that I do is I will go over to the yellow. Um, and this one, if you have blonde hair, this is where your hair is going to really look nice and icy and pretty. So for this one, I will drag the luminance all the way up, honestly, probably to about positive 60. Um, and then I'm gonna drag the saturation way, way down to about like, mm, I'm gonna say like negative 30 is what we're gonna do. Um, so as you guys can see, what that did is it was really, really took out any like weird yellow tones. Um, it really made my hair look a lot more like white and icy as opposed to more yellow. Um, 
and so that's really good if you're wearing any whites as well or if you have a picture where you're like smiling and you want your teeth to look a little bit whiter um, that's kind of how you edit that one okay and then the very last thing that I'm gonna do for this picture which I don't typically do for all of my pictures um, but in this case this picture is looking a little bit more blue than I'd like um, I want it to look just as true to white as possible so I'm gonna go over to this dark blue and I'm actually gonna drag the saturation down to about negative 20 um, and so as you guys can see, that really took out a lot of the blue, especially in the buildings, um, and really just made everything like a nice crisp white. Okay, so now that we're done with that, I'm actually gonna go right over to detail down at the bottom. Um, and if you need to sharpen your picture, obviously this is where you would do that. This picture looks pretty sharp to me, so I think I'm just gonna leave it. Um, but the next thing that I will do is I will just go down to noise reduction and I'll bump that up probably to about 10. Um, and so this is what kind of smooths over your picture and any like grainy features or any like um, textures in the picture that's kind of overwhelming. This just kind of gives it like a nice like cover and smooths it out, um, which I really like. So that is what it looks like so far. So after that, that is typically everything that I do for the Lightroom app. Um, so here's the before and after you guys can see obviously everything is a lot crisper wider brighter um, You notice a really big difference especially like in the ceiling It looks just like a lot cleaner and not as like grungy. So after that I will go ahead and just save that Okay, so after I finish in Lightroom the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my retouch app so what this app is really good for is if let's say you took a picture and you have like um, I don't know, like a trash can in the background or you have a bunch of people in the background that you want to like take out. This app is where you're going to do that. Um, so what I do is I just go right into here. So after you have your photo opened, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom into the background. <laughs> and if you guys can see, I have a Starbucks cup and a green juice bottle back there. So obviously I don't want the background on my pictures to look cluttery. So I'm going to go ahead and just take those out. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go down to the object removal and then I'm just going to highlight it over those objects. And then after I've done that, I'm gonna hit go. And as you guys can see, it already took it out. Um, if you zoom in really close, you can probably you know, see a little bit of like a line, um, like where the stuff was taken out, but honestly, you just really can't tell that much. But the next thing I'm gonna go ahead and edit out is this little outlet right here. Okay, so perfect. So now that that is completely gone, Okay, so after I've done that, then I go ahead and just save it. And then after that, really, that's all I do to edit my pictures. Um, it's super simple, only takes a few minutes. So here's a quick before and after for you guys. Um, so I really love the way that like the nice bright looks and it really just makes your feed look like nice and clean and crisp. So, so that's how I edit my pictures. I typically use the exact same like method on all of my photos. Um, if it is something that's in different lighting, then you know, I'll alter everything a little bit to make sure that it's not like too bright or overexposed or anything like that. But yeah, making that preset is super, super simple. Um, and then you can always just copy and paste it in Lightroom and just apply it to all of your pictures. If you guys try editing your photos like this or if you made your own preset with this one, um, definitely feel free to tag me in those photos on Instagram. I would love to see what you guys come up with. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.